Hi, this is Brian Armstrong from Alight Analytics. I'm back today to explain a little bit about how Tableau handles data. Tableau has two different data types, dimensions and measures. Most of you are probably familiar with this. Dimensions appear on the left in blue, measures in green at the bottom over here. The blue actually represents a discrete measurement and green represents a continuous measurement. That's not quite as clear. It might look like blue represents a dimension and green represents a measure. Those are the default ways that Tableau handles those data types. For example, if I take a dimension out on a row, I get a discrete value by default. Notice that it's blue. If I pull out a measure and put it on the column shelf, by default it's green. It's handled as continuous. I can change this though. Let me give you an example. If I pull date out onto color, I will get by default blue, a discrete value, and you have four different colors representing year. I can change this though to a continuous measure. And now, even though by default it was blue or discrete, now I've changed it to continuous and I have a range of colors for date. This isn't done quite as frequently with measures, but it can be. Let's say, for example, I want to know how frequently transactions occur on days. I can take transactions over here to my column shelf. Notice by default it's green or continuous. I'm going to change this to discrete and a dimension so that it breaks things out. Now notice it changed it back to continuous. It's arguing with me. Let's change it to discrete again. And then I want to know how, fre how frequently it occurs that I have zero transactions in a day or one transaction in a day, a day being the grouping of date that I have in this worksheet. So what I've shown you is data types and data roles within Tableau and how you can change those to get the visualization you're looking for.